With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Everyone, let's take a question. Here the question says, out of molar entropy, specific volume, heat capacity and volume extensive properties are. Okay, we have to tell among these four given terms which one are the extensive properties okay if we see what is extensive property then extensive properties are those which depend upon the amount of the substance um, depend upon amount amount okay basically that depends upon the amount and intensive properties are independent of the amount okay so if we first see first is our molar entropy first is our molar entropy if we define molar entropy, it is the entropy of one mole of substance. It is the entropy of one mole of substance under the standard conditions like at 298 Kelvin or we can say at the room temperature. Okay, So this is our intensive property because it is independent of the amount of the substance. Okay, So our molar entropy is intensive property. It is intensive Okay, now if we talk about the specific volume, okay, specific volume means that in this case the volume, specific volume, specific means that something of a fixed amount, right, specific means a fixed amount, like it will be, like if I am saying that 10 milliliters of volume, then it will be a fixed amount, okay, so specific volume, it's a fixed amount, okay. So, our specific volume is also an intensive property because in this, the factors are constant. Factors are constant, okay. So, our first and second, these are intensive, okay. I, I. Now, third is our heat capacity. Third is our heat capacity. So, if we define the heat capacity, then heat capacity is defined as Q is equal to mc del T. So, here we can see that Q depends upon the mass of the substance. So, here we can say that heat capacity is our extensive property. Now, if we talk about volume, then we know that volume density is equal to mass upon volume. So, here our volume will be mass upon density. So, our volume depends upon the mass of the substance. So, it is also our extensive property. So, our extensive properties are third and fourth. So, it is also incorrect. It is also incorrect. It is also incorrect. And this is our correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.